Hello and welcome to my Williams Right Glory Career Mode here today for the very final episode in the series before F1 2022 comes out. In this video we're going to be going through one whole season to finish off the series because the way the last season ended wasn't too good so we're doing one long season to finish it off so starting in Monaco Canada Austria Silvis and Spa Monza Japan Mexico Brazil and we round out this the career in Abu Dhabi but coming into this season we had a regulation change which means that I did very well adapting the parts so we have the best car by some margin but do sound a little bit I'm struggling at the minute so I'm, this video hopefully my voice can handle it here is the grid it's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session George Russell will begin today's event from pole position and Brown completes the front row moving on to the rest of the grid we have Perez, Gasly, Valtteri Bottas, and Norris, Ricardo, Latifi, Leclerc, and Sebastian Vettel, Stroll, Sonoda, Carlos Sainz, and Mick Schumacher, Lundgaard, Mazepin, Esteban Ocon, and Max Verstappen, Giovinazzi, and Quan Yu Zhou. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. So unfortunately, it was raining for the race as well. So it's a wet Monaco, just like real life. Round one. And it's lights out, and away we go. And we haven't got the best of stars, and we've been beaten then. Into turn one by Sergio Perez. George leads. And it's all gone in the background as we've lost out to Sergio Perez. Can we get past the Mexican? Because if you won the Grand Prix in real life, can we have to go down the inside into Mirabeau? No. Through Mirabeau now and into the best camera angle on the, on the calendar. Couldn't get past Sergio Perez, everyone follows through. On the opening lap, trying not to ram into the back of each other. Now let's skip on to the end of lap one and we've dropped back a little bit to Sergio Perez. And now we just got to play the waiting game of course. Can't really beat anyone on traction, but it's wet. So we just want to sit here and wait for Perez to make a mistake. As we go wide and off the track. And we've actually there. I was backed out of it. A bit dodgy if we would have got that position. Running. Through where we go. As <coughs> now, Perez made a mistake and we go round the outside. I'm Sergio Perez, he pits. We don't really know why. I don't think we made contact. And they're changing the front wing to. We must have made contact. And this is what happened when we... So obviously we went wide, came back onto the track and he turned into us. If I could do that, see I made the mistake. Try my best to stay onto, onto the track. And he's turned into us. But now all the way onto lap 9 and we've got the back of Mr. George Russell, our teammate, somehow still stayed here, even when Latifi went to join Mercedes, still stayed here and I think he's loving that decision now, as he pits as it's time for the first stops of the day. <laughs> and it's going to be the dry tyres. 
for George Russell and to the medium. Is the drum ready? He comes out of the pit. And now around the final corner as we are. We are in the pits now. And then we are going to come out a long, long way behind. For our teammate. But before we can quit around Monaco, of course. We went here last season. And all the way on now to like 28. And we were just sat here, couldn't get there. Couldn't get past George at all. So they sat here waiting, waiting for the mistake. But will it come? Will they ever take? The key to have been lapping each other. And the sun comes out now. Three to back through the casino. And now George looked up. There's a mistake. And now to the outside. Of. Of Rastas. We're going to drop them. But now, on the exit, can we? We're on the outside, we're on the outside. We take the lead of the Monaco Grand Prix and pulled it away massively. And up to the line. And it's back-to-back -back wins in Monaco. It's an all-English podium as George and Lando are on it with us. And that's round one in the season. Monaco, good, good place to start. Here's the constructors. Now time for the Canadian Grand Prix. And it's my favourite track on the calendar. Hopefully, we can get a good result. Can we make it back to back? Because the most recent race in real life is this being recorded the week after. Two stop race, soft to medium to soft. This, so here we go, five red lights for the Canadian Grand Prix. And we're underway here in Canada. And we've got a good start, we beat George off the line. We try to go to our right side, and Max. We see an opportunity to send it up the inside. And gets the job done on George, and splits. Splits us. And now, round the first sector. Through the third chicane on the track. Can Max first happen? Take the lead off of us, but he's gonna try as we go through the chicane. Go a little bit wide. And there's Max just up in the bar inside. Tried to send it back down at the inside at the hairpin. Has been nearly get done by George round the outside. George on the mediums as it was raining. Good qualifying just like long ago. And now down the inside as we re overtake Max Verstappen around the outside. Can we get the job done? No. Max keeps the position. And now, though, towards the end of the second lap, we're going to come with him again. We get up to the final corner, final chicane, side by side, job done into the lead. Back into the lead, the Grand Prix. And George has caught him napping now. He's side by side. Can George get the job done now? And for that four though. Here comes George. Sets him up nicely. On the exit. Of the final corner. And now. Side by side. Into turn one. And it's job done. And it's a Williams one too. And into the pits now. Lap 9 comes, Max Verstappen. And now, lap 10, because we just absolutely flew away. We are miles up the road, and on our own, so... I don't think try and keep these highlights short. 
så vi står her til varme, fordi jeg ikke bruger sådan en Det skal komme af det bedst. Og rejoin in fresh, fresh air. And now, oh no, that's... That's Guan Yu Zhou's engine. It's blown up. That Renault engine. As we have caught the back of George. Like I said earlier, it started on the medium, so he's going longer. And with George being second, as he pits and goes straight on, means that we're a pit stop ahead of the rest of the field. On to lap 13. The stop. Now out of the pits comes George Russell. Back into second place. Miles ahead of Max Verstappen. Lap 17 now then. Here we come. Through the first again there's yellow flags. And that's because Mazepin has spun and is out and gets himself going again. Of course it would be Mazepin. He was just lit up the rears. Coming out to the first corner. Caught me by surprise, we nearly hit him. And this is what I look like from our point of view as I saw him very late. Nearly clicked. I think we have, but lap 25 as we make our second stop, and we do some very dodgy business because I forgot I was meant to pit. So a bit dodgy that. And meanwhile, between these pit stops, we were just miles ahead of anyone else, and was lapping most of the field to be honest this all the only action we really had is we come out side by side with the Aston Martin he was a lap down and this is a replay when every time one remembered we probably had a 20 second um, pit stop Penalty for that. As that was pretty much our race, onto the final lap then. And we are going to win the Canadian Grand Prix. My favourite race. Oh, here they are now. I always love seeing the independent teams do well. Williams have a long and storied history with F1. And I'm delighted to see them on the top step of the podium. So that's been your Canadian Grand Prix then. 1 2 for the team, yet again. 1 DNF. We lapped Madspin twice, you can see the amount of cars. We lapped in the race, that's the only thing that happened. I could have just done a very long video of me lapping off the field, but I want to get through these races, try and get this season done as quickly as possible. Here's a constructor and let's go to Austria. So we're here in Austria then for round three. First time we've come to Austria in the career mode. And what does the Red Bull Ring have to offer us today? Here's the grid. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Brown lines up on pole position, just ahead of George Russell, who starts this event from P2. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Verstappen, Latifi, Lando Norris and Ricardo, Perez, Bottas, Gasly and Charles Leclerc, Sonoda, Stroll, Sebastian Vettel and Giovinazzi, Ocon, Lundgaard, Mick Schumacher and Guan Yu Zhou, Mazepin, and Carlos Sainz will start from the back of the grid. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? 
So it's two stop then here in Austria, soft to medium to medium. Another pole position, can we make it three in a row? Let's find out. There's two, there's three, there's four, there's five. We're underway in Austria for the first time. And we haven't got the best of starts. And George has beats off the line into turn one. We dropped to second place. There's a the Mercedes is away away in the background. But we are hurrying all the way up to the second corner in the slipstream. And George defends us. Can we get the drop down into turn four if we overtake him? The answer was no, we were too far back. And on to lap 10 now. George went, I just couldn't live with George's pace. He was way too quick. If you make a little mistake, you can see the gap that we have. And on lap 15, George makes his first stop of the day. On to the mediums as this race very did quickly. Did become a one stop. And George Miles at the road one lap later. Into the pits we come. To make our stop of the day. Into the pits now. Pass goes George, you can see him there. Miles ahead of us onto the mediums. There's George. Miles at the road as we come out of the pits. And just I don't know. Too too good. Just couldn't live with him today. He was way too quick. And not a lot really happened in that race. As George Russell wins his first Grand Prix. And then we're going to make it another Williams 1-2. That's now three in a row. As we go to Silverstone. Williams have put in an incredible performance out on the track today. I'm glad all the hard work of theirs has finally paid off. So that's been your Austrian Grand Prix then, for the one and only time on F1 2021. Ricardo retired George Lapp in quite a lot of the field, and he's very close between us now. Ten points in the constructors, in the drivers, and we're still on max points in the constructors as well. Here we go in round four, it's the British Grand Prix, and... The first race before I tried a new capture card that I brought, supposed to be 4K. I also tried to use a, a OBS as well, and it looks absolutely terrible. So wishy washy, I tried everything I knew, couldn't get this to work. So for Belgium, I, will, I have fixed it. Car being quick, this is our best chance to win the British Grand Prix as it lights out and away we go. And Max Verstappen and down into Abbey beats us off the line. The crowd sigh. They want a British driver to win this, and so do I. As we're on the back now, George having a look. Max Verstappen though, just like it was in real life, leads the British Grand Prix. But it's a British driver hunting him down again. This time, it is us. As we go for it, down into Brooklyn's. 
Didn't get the job done. Tried to go around the outside. Max. Now we try to get the exit. And I did think about it. I did think about it a lot going down the inside into cops. Just to rewrite some history. I was on to lap four. And we still couldn't get past Max to step in. We was trying everything. And now George was having a little look. And I went to be aggressive to him. Shut the door on him because I really wanted to win this. I didn't want Max to win the British Grand Prix at all. So something had to give and George can just sit there and watch. As here we go into Brooklyn's down the inside of Max Verstappen. And we take the lead of the British Grand Prix. As now George tries to go around the outside. Couldn't do that. As now is he going to go for it into the cops? No. A bit more sensible. As now through Max and Big as we go onto that hangar straight. And here comes George, we have got a shocker of an exit. As we go back down the inside, George goes to the outside. And it is a Mercedes 1-2 and Williams 1-2. Here at the British Grand Prix and now it's the two Brits going at it as George sends it, we send it down the inside. As we lost out to George. And George cuts us back. And keeps it around the outside. As we're going to go to the inside again. And we do nearly get the job done. But George is going to keep it pinned. Around the outside. And cops corner. And stays ahead. As now. Into the pit goes Max Verstappen. We are going to make our first stop of the day. And one and only, of course, one stop here at Silverstone. On to the mediums. And now, can we beat out George Russell? Have we beat out Max Verstappen by an absolute mile? He's actually been beaten out by his teammate. So, being held up hasn't helped him. Out of the pits comes George on the hearts. Interesting. Very interesting. As where are we? George comes out of the pits and he has done it. George Russell has beat us out of the pits. As we pitted before, so the overcut has kept George ahead on lap. 13. Lap 14 now, we're on the back. If you're, a, if you're a fan of Silverstone today, which one are you hunting for? As we do get past George. And now hopefully we can pull away. And go up the road. As Nikita Mazepin now into the veil chicane. Lights up the rays and copy and paste what, what just happened in Canada runs the final corner and we are going to win the British Grand Prix for the first time now, I always love seeing the independent teams do well Williams have a long and storied history with F1, and I'm delighted to see them on the top step of the podium. So that's been your British Grand Prix then for one final time, and finally. It's the one I always want to win, and we have done it. And it's another one-two for us again. 
with Max Verstappen third again. Just like Austria, we still got Max points in the constructors as well. Here we go then, it's the Belgian Grand Prix for the second half of the season. And as you can hear, there's no game sound because, as I said, I'm still getting used to OBS. So, I forgot to set up the sound, so. But it's Gasly on pole from Max. And then we were third. Ricardo fourth, and then as it plays out, George was all the way down in ninth, and as you can see the rest of the grid here, for the Belgian Grand Prix, will it be a good one, can we win again, let's find out shall we, might have been last, no surprise there, as here we go then too, Grand Prix two stop. Interesting. Pretty sure it's only a one, but that's what Jeff wants to do. Is a five lights come on, and it lights out, and away we go. And Gasly gets away well. We try to jump the inside of Max Verstappen. Couldn't know. And we're left defending Yuki Tsunoda. Download towards our Rouge, and now through. A uh, rage. Can we have a go at Max Verstappen? Can we? A little bit too far back. Or are we? We're in the slipstream. We're getting closer and closer. But we're not quite close enough. To have a go. At Mr Verstappen. On to lap three. And can we can we do it this time? There's nowhere much closer and we're going to send it down the inside and up into P2. We go and now we can get after Pierre Gasly. If, well, there's a replay of it, we came from so far back to get the job done. Also new helmet for, for this race and the rest of the season. It's now here's George fighting his way through, battling away with Valtteri Bottas who has replaced him, it's in in real life. When I see it, it's just after a while. Here we go though, we just couldn't get anywhere near Pierre Gasly. And on to lap 9, he pits to make his one and only stop of the day. George in the background, you can see Pitten. And now Yuki Tsunoda, the other Alpha Tauri, pulls off and is out of the Belgian Grand Prix. And Pierre Gaz has come out stuck behind Carlos Sainz. And you can see here how much Sainz is holding him up. <coughs> as now we are in the pits. On to lap 10, 12 to go, on to the mediums. We've gone one lap longer. Can the overcut work? Gasly, the turn one, science pitted, and we have done it. The overcut has worked in, ba in Belgium, and we lead the Grand Prix. Great job from the Williams mechanic. And we need the Grand Prix. There's now, here's Esteban Ocon. And he's got a puncher. He's got a front left puncher. I've never seen that before. In this entire game. Never seen it. And now here comes Kwan Yu Zhou. And Kwan Yu Zhou. Has hit the back of his teammate. And he's out. On the Belgian Grand Prix. Safety card deployed for the first time this season. And now we get to do the restart. And of course with the long run down into the bus stop chicane I left it very, very late. So 
coming out to the chicane we absolutely bolted and I think we caught out Gasly a little bit there lap 15 can we get away and win this race I wonder down to what we go and Gasly though is in our slipstream is he too far back he's looking a little bit closer As here he comes, is he close enough? It doesn't look like it. And no, no he's not. And we keep the lead. And now though, we've done it, we lead every single lap. We, we got away after the restart. And we win the Belgian Grand Prix. And if Gasly, he finishes second, great result for him. Another third place for Max Verstappen. He may get higher up one day, we shall see. But that should have been your Belgian Grand Prix for one last time. Some dodgy races here in Belgium over the last couple of seasons. That one was quite good. George Day could only manage fourth, so our run of one twos comes to an end, and that also gives me a very healthy lead in the championship and we're miles ahead in the constructors as well so it's the Italian Grand Prix and it's one where it's always been a great one for us it's a one two on the grid for Williams and we have had some unbelievable races here in the past hopefully we can finish with another classic race here in Monza for the final time as the fiber lights come on they're out and we're underway here in Monza and straight away we've lost out just like Austria to George Russell down into the first corner Gasly on the outside Now we head down towards the second chicane, we're too far back to deal with George as we bounce over the curb. And now head on. Five around five laps in. And we can be just like Austria really. Hadn't got the pace of George and Dazley. Had the pace and was sticking with us, fair enough. From the outside. As he went, we first and wide. And now on to lap six. As we made a huge mistake there. Dip around into the gravel. And Dusty goes through. And up into P2. Very annoying. But now it's a big. Sergio Perez. Engine is blown up. And that's his second DNF here in Monza in the career mode. First one in season one. And now we've managed to stay with, stick with Pierre Gasly. And here we come now. We're on the back, we're gonna pull to the outside. And we're gonna sail around the outside and back up into P2. I was George at this point, as you can see from the timing tower had absolutely bolted. Whereas now then, Pierre Gasly pits to make his one and only stop on lap 11. Onto the mediums we go, he goes and out. And now one lap later, so do we. That's George, so does George. Now, after that, lap 14, finally we pit, we go a couple of extra laps. And on to the medium we go. And out. Dave Gasly, have we beat him out? Yes, 
Let's be her. I need just no. We're gonna be side by side and no. No, we haven't. Be up, Dazzly. And we've got to pass him again. Here we go, though. Pull to the inside. The defense the inside. Round the outside. Copy and paste what we did earlier. And we're back up into P2. It's going slow. It's Nicholas Latifi. And he is out of the Italian Grand Prix. Here he comes, being Gasly now. On the outside. Gets the job done. As we keep a pin round the outside. Just lift off the brake. Slot through. Gasly though. Tried to get the exit. Couldn't. And stays behind us. Yellow flag going. Here we go though. Gadgets up the inside. Gadgets off the track. Gadgets in the wall. And Gadgets out of the Grand Prix. Now. What's he doing here? He's reversing in the middle of the track. And he's wiped out Bottas and he's wiped out his teammate. And that's a huge crash. What has Pierre Gasly done? He's wiped himself out. I oh, didn't hit him, nothing to do with me. He dropped it with the DRS and then... What is he doing here? Just reverses onto the track. One of the quickest parts of track on the entire calendar and then Bottas had nowhere to go straight to the side of him and same for Yuki Tsunoda who actually oh it's a bit unlucky if by Yuki it's the back of Bottas rips off his rear, rear left rear right front right I decided to take a risk though, Campbell, and go onto the softs for the last couple of laps. We need to come out behind that McLaren though, but we haven't. We've come out behind Sight and Sebastian Vettel. So, on six laps, we've got to get through five cars. Five cars? Yeah, five, six cars. Get back to where we were, we're hustling. Sebastian Vettel, which you're not allowed to do anymore, but it's a game. So, I don't think anyone cares. As now we send it down the inside of three cars. Job done on those three. And we're halfway there already. As here we come now, round the outside of Charles Leclerc. And now, down the inside of Lando Norris as at the time at the safety car I thought I was like why didn't I just send it down the inside I didn't need to pit round the outside of Max Verstappen and now can we catch George the answer is yes down the inside we try to go on George Russell out of Parabolica George holds the line as we can just tap back into his slipstream and now on the outside and now we go flying into turn one and this pissed up onto the softs has been absolutely wonders for us George has pretty much led every single lap but we are going to make it another win in a row and it's another one two and George is probably going to be up but we just got the strategy spot on. I thought I'm messing up, but this car is beautiful. And that's been your last Italian Grand Prix. Been better ones, it spiced up a little bit at the end, but I don't know. There's been better ones. It's another podium for Max Verstappen, and we really are starting to put a hand on the title now and here's the constructors we're miles ahead we can wrap that up next time out it's time for the Japanese Grand Prix here at Suzuka 
and it's a race where we can wrap up the title and after Spa and Monza I have sorted out the issues with the audio here is the good we're just going to quickly go through this because we're at 40 minutes already and George actually took an engine penalty in this race and we had a shocker of qualifying it's a one stop here in Japan can we get the job done it's lights out and away we go here in Japan everyone gingerly away as we try and gain the place at the start we get dropped off by Sergio Perez as we make nearly nearly get wipe ourselves out there as now Charles to go through and now down the inside into the hairpin we gain two places on Perez and Nicholas Latifi and now skipping on and we get past Charles Leclerc who tried to come back at us but we now side by side through the S section Charles thought he had it we have the grip though to send it round the outside and keep the place if you're wondering um, the audio is a little bit off I don't really know why I'm sad using OBS and I'm still getting used to it so I'll have it sorted by the time F1 2022 comes out as Leclerc tries to wipe himself tries to go for a gap that doesn't exist and I don't know Latifi though we don't why he comes up our inside we force him out we've spun we've done a beautiful pirouette and Latifi's side says Latifi, Latifi, it's me. And the VSC has been deployed. And Delta time, Perez, going very slowly as we go round the outside of him. Beat him into the pits. Very um, questionable overtake there and the VSC. We squeed. The TV lost it on the on the curb, the grass, and for do so much, say so myself. Well held, son. As the TV tried to get the inside, I remember thinking, "Oh, it's only the TV. He'll back out," and he did. But oh, we the TV didn't hit me. He had Perez. Perez had nowhere to go and then Duff I've no Perez in me. His sight everyone locked up in front of him and he went straight on into the back of the TV. He then knocked on straight into the back of Perez and then Perez into me. His way Sergio Perez was going so slow I was miles under my delta time as we pit and held up George a bit there as well but we've gone to the hards when everyone else has gone into the mediums and for all of that we've only actually lost one place and that's the Charles Leclerc but that VFC eventually became a full safety car and now we can get racing again. And we've already got past Charles Leclerc. Down the inside of Lance Stroll we go. Now, here we go, everyone's slowing down. Everyone's slowing down! Being gas, his engine's blown. And everyone is just geared up behind him like they're waiting for the corner shop. And we've taken full advantage and gone round the outside of about five cars then. Nearly making contact with P. Gasly, as you could have seen there. And now we were closing in on Lando and Max for the lead of the race. And look at the gap. We send it down the inside. 
and we're up into B2 and past Lando Norris. Bill on my arm wondered to him all those years ago. There's now Max goes wide and we cut up the inside of him. Then into the lead and it's been an excellent comeback drive from B as we win the Japanese spectacular Grand Prix. victory then and with it the championship is secure where Williams have finally moved beyond the point of no return and have taken the constructors title Williams have put in an incredible performance out on the track today I'm glad all the hard work of theirs has finally paid off So that's been your Japanese Grand Prix and we've wrapped up the Constructors title in the process Williams first Constructors title since God knows when before I was alive and um, we can wrap up the title then in Mexico here we go then it's a Mexican Grand Prix and could it be title deciding day if I can do maths, which I can't, then I believe that if George wins, we only need to finish third to be champions for the first time. Let's go to it though. The Mexican Grand Prix. We're both on the front row. It's a very, very long hole of the lights, and we are away here in Mexico. God knows what happened there, the lights are broke or something. As we fend off George into turn one. There's now, there goes Max, getting past the McLaren of Daniel Ricciardo. And now, George is coming at us. Tries to go around the outside, but he's squeezing wide and keep the lead of the Grand Prix and now on to lap 2 through the SH and we go and we've robbed it, we made a mistake we've gone off the track we spun round and we hit the wall, no just like Japan we've lost it this time more costly it's on the first lap and now the tyres I cooked, absolutely cooked, had no grip because they just felt they were just on fire now, you can see the man was struggling, but that's made this title much harder to win now, as we lose that massively. We've gone from back to front of the grid from front to back of the grid rather and the free ride in front of us as the tyres go down by the time we get back to turn one as they're battling and now we've gone thank you very much and run straight around the outside and got all three of them they are much lower cars and now here we go on the back of joke on you as we send it up the inside and past the Chinese driver who's had some bad luck this season and now past me shoot my car into turn one and now on the back of the Alfa Romeo of Giovinazzi on the outside and job done this is literally us we were carving away for as we go wide I did not mean to do that. And the Pajo Kitanoda. I actually outbreak myself there. I'm not actually trying to overtake. Down the inside of Pierre Gasly we go. Who's looking for a good result after that DNF in Japan. And now we send it down the inside of Sebastian Vettel. And we are on fire here. And now up ahead that's Stroll and Charles Leclerc they're fighting and we've just gone thank you very much just like we did on 
when they're free wide, both of them done and dusted. Strong tries to jump back at us, but no, not that time, Lance. It's now the has gone back at Lance Strong. Can he get the job done? Possibly, maybe. Mm. They're still side by side, I don't think so. Oh, he has. He has done it. Into the pits we come now. Our first stop of the day. I decided to change the strategy instead of going on to the mediums. We needed to go aggressive. So I pitted for another set of the soft instead of going medium. So we'll go medium at the end of the race. And now this is Veto and Archon side by side. And now we're doing exactly the same things we did before. And there's contact and... You can't be doing that Vettel. Except he's actually announced his retirement. At the end of the season. Same with us to be honest. We announced our retirement pretty much. It's now Sebastian Vettel. We overtake him. we still got to wait for those in front to pit. It's now on the back of... Ocon. It's been grand new joke. Can you Joe, sorry. It's because I get the Mercedes of Bottas as well. And now we're on the back of Daniel Ricciardo, who we dive bomb into the stadium section. And now down the inside, Sergio Perez, the most unpopular overtake of the day. As now here comes Lando Norris on Latifi. As we follow them through now, and up the inside we try to go over Latifi. Have we set him up nicely? But down into turn one, we've got an unbelievable exit. As we get past the Canadian driver, and now we're on the back of Lando Norris. Get past our fellow Brit. He's now we're on the back of Charles III, the move. For the title, if I can do maths, like I said earlier, when I completely bottled the maths in the four-way title decider a few seasons ago, but Leclerc hangs on for now. He's now on the back of Leclerc, we're on the back, we're going to go to the outside, and it's job done on Charles Leclerc. As we pit, there's George going free, we're a pit stop behind him. A bit like Austria. As we go into the mediums, and all of them have gone back into the softs. Or well, most of them at least. As we've come out now, behind it, Big Gasly, Max Verstappen, and Yuki Tsunoda, who we dispatch off fairly quickly. And now here comes Gasly and Verstappen, side by side. Verstappen trying to get past his former teammate. Gasly holds it round the outside. We are waiting. And we've done for what we've done for the last, well, ten times this race. Do both of them on the exit in turn three. And then we're up to P2. And we are seven laps away from our first driver's title. just yet but uh, we've seen a problem at our end we're looking into it no 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 don't please Jeff don't do this to me the I've just carved my way through the entire field with five laps away from our half title if I've done maths right Okay, looks like a mechanical failure. We're going to have to ask you to find a safe spot to retire. Sorry about that. I repeat, find somewhere to retire immediately. It's too dangerous to stay on track. We were five laps away from our first driver's title. 
Georgia also wins that ends our winning streak since since Silverstone. And now the gap is cut down to 31 points. We can still wrap up the title in Brazil if we win the race. I just, when I recorded that, I just sat there, just stared at absolutely nothing for about 10 minutes. But, this is what happened though, it was the control electronics that decided to die on us. So it's a Brazilian Grand Prix then, and we could for the second time wrap up the title here today, this time if we win the Grand Prix. Yesterday, and we'll start today's race from pole position, and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Norris Gasly, Valtteri Bottas, and Latifi, Sonoda, Ricardo, Perez, and Lance Stroll, Leclerc, Giovinazzi, Carlos Sainz, and Vettel. They've taken a grid penalty. Mick Schumacher, Joe, Esteban Ocon, and Nikita Mazepin, Lundgaard. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty, and Brown. So I decided to go with a brand new engine, so what can we do today? It's lights out and away we go. And George is beating Max off the line. As we in the background are going to send it down the inside. We basically, for the second race in a row, got to do a comeback drive, but hopefully this time we can finish. And if we want the title, we need to win the whole thing. Down the inside of Charles Leclerc, we've gained a lot of positions at the start here. We need to get through as quickly as we can. Down the inside of the Alfa Romeo. There as well. Down the inside of the Ferrari. We go one lap later. And now down the inside of Sergio Perez. He looks up. And now down the inside of Nicholas Latifi into turn one. Latifi can he have a look at us though. And now down the inside of Sebastian Vettel. Here comes Lando Norris now into turn four, and he's lit up the rears. That's a massive mistake, Lando. Good night, thank you doing that. But after that, we kind of just all stuck. I literally couldn't catch those in front of us. And if we want to win the title, we needed to. We come out of the pits and we'll see what we can do. Can we go forward after this? If we're on the back now of Yuki Sonona, down the inside, we have him into turn one. Have him with chips. Great move. Right, move. Three in front of us now, Bottas. This down the inside, we get the drop down on Bottas. Then it's Ricardo, and then it's Max, and it's Gasly. As now, here we come now on the back of Daniel Ricardo, who we made contact with a year ago. And we absolutely send it round his outside. And next up is Max, who for this entire season has been our rival and I don't know why because we've absolutely done him at every race just like that round the outside and now we're on the back of Gasly who we send down the inside and up into P2 and now George Russell has done everything he needed to do we see who's going to make it two wins in a row and wins the Brazilian Grand Prix and we are going to try him second so the title fight goes down to Abu Dhabi
So that's been your Brazilian Grand Prix for the final time. One DNF. Grand New Drive, pretty sure he retires at every single race. Don't even know why he turns up. But, 25 points. We were one point away from the title. One point. So basically, George needs to win with the fastest lap. And we only need two points. So it's a time to decide and then, here in Abu Dhabi, first time decider here in Abu Dhabi and I for him and then the last one in real life was a bit dodgy man yeah. so hopefully this one's less so George needs to win with the fastest lap and basically needs us not to finish if we only need P9 we only need two points to win the title because if it's level we've got more wins so Sorry, George. So, if we, went, if we finished home for the first lap with one, so we just need to finish pretty much. George Russell Here's will the begin way. today's event from pole position, edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Leclerc, Norris, Pierre Gasly, and Bottas, Perez, Sonoda, Brown, and Lance Stroll. Vettel, Latifi, they've taken a grid penalty. And Guan Yu Zhou and Ricardo. Giovinazzi, Mick Schumacher, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Christian Lungard and Nikita Mazepin. Ocon and Carlos Sainz will start from the back of the grid. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? So we had an option shock of qualifying, but here we go then. It's a title decider, the duel in the desert. And it's lights out and away we go. And George, side by side with Max Verstappen off the line. Now down against, down in three turn one. Couldn't gain any places, unfortunately. But we skip on now into the hairpin, of course, this is the last old Abu Dhabi. Play out as we do Paris down the inside of Helios is up to the Alfa the Aston Martin behind. And now on to lap two. We send it from miles back on. Valtteri Bottas. Don't know why I said it like that. Valtteri Bottas. His next up then is Pierre Gasly. Who I feel like we're constantly battling at the minute. Here we go, we're gonna send it on Yuki Sonoda. And now on Pierre Gasly, constantly battling the two Alpha Towers. Next step is Charles Leclerc. And now into the old layout where it's back now, personally, I think removing this part of the track. Has actually made it worse. The one taking out the hair been brilliant. This one not so down the inside of the club we went and now Lando Norris. As we get to the back of Max Verstappen and he pits. He doesn't want to be done by us again. Is now out of pits he comes followed in by Daniel Ricciardo onto the mediums and now one lap later into the pits we come to make our first up in the day at night evening whatever you want to call it onto the other side of the soft compound tyres Committing ourselves to a one stop. There is Max Verstappen. Has he beat us out? He was already ahead. And he's beaten us out alright by quite a margin. But the worst timing ever. There is a 
fault to the DRS, you won't be able to open the rear wing. We're working on a fix. Stay out. That couldn't have come at a worse point. I literally cannot, I couldn't get close to the staff and because of the DRS. So we just sat here behind this, costing us so much time in this Grand Prix. But down to the chicane, Max Verstappen has spun. He lost it right in front of us and we didn't need the arrest. Because Max has lost it on his own. Very. And, and like, Max has happened to make a mistake like that. Lightly lights up the rear tyres and, yeah, God knows. And now into the pits we come, which is not a lot happened after that. Two. Make our second stop of the day, second and final stop. Onto the mediums, and away we went. Though, so, when I came out and I started to do a couple of laps, I realised that actually it was the one stop that was the way to go. Very annoyingly. So now, the one stop. We, we were slowly catching the Aston Martin and as I mentioned earlier this was Vettel's last race and this was the final lap of the Grand Prix and I won to the podium but I know that if this was real the entire F1 fan base would want that podium for Vettel so I'm sorry everyone as I send it down the inside into the chicane, job done, Stroll though, we couldn't quite get Stroll, only just better, as George Russell did everything he needed to do, but he didn't get the fastest lap, so he made the three in a row, but with Lance Stroll coming second, We are going to round the final corner to be F1 World Champions. Fantastic drive, and it means you're Drivers World Champion. What a result. Enjoy it. Operations begin, and well earned they are indeed. It may have looked simple at times, but as any racing driver will tell you, competing at this level, at the very top, is anything but simple. There's no catching them now then. We have a new World Drivers Champion. Victory today then, but bittersweet emotions I'm sure, as the championship slips through their fingers. Even so, what a fantastic final race of the season this was. It looks like it's time once again to hand out the silverware as the successful drivers make their way to the podium. It was a gritty performance today by Williams, and they've got the race win to prove it. So that's the season and career my done and dusted. The road to glory is complete. We win the title and the constructors. I think we can say we've done everything we needed to do for this career mode. George never think is Aston Martin's best result of the season. And we win the title by 16 points in the end. Here's how the the standings look. Final standings. Well, what a way to round out this the series and the season. As you can see, as I said earlier, Sebastian Vettel has retired. It doesn't affect anything. We're not doing another season. Look at those two trophies. Beautiful. One that I can put on the super license, and here's all the results. We got the fastest lap at every single race. And look at Max Verstappen's run of third places. Pretty much the entire season, but three rounds. You can say it's consistent. Here's all the results of every season. You see, it started off rough with those three, four DNFs. Never DNF in 
Season 2, we got that podium in Season 1. 2 DNS where it felt like we couldn't get a point in Season 3. Then we run in Mexico. And then we run again in Monaco. And then we had that awful end to the season, which is why I'm making this video. And there's the season. One DNF. Really annoying that because we could have had the title wrapped up a lot sooner than it was. Here's the driver stats, and you can see our wins everything 5 poles, 8 wins, 12 podiums. But yeah, that's been the. I don't know how to feel, it's weird. This is the first time I've properly finished a series since I started YouTube on F1 2019. I hope you enjoyed this series. I've had a lot of fun making it. I hope you enjoyed this video. It took a very long time to make. So hit the like button. But it's a career and season that ended in the best way possible. Goodbye.